after 15 minutes, I rinsed it off. Ang nangyari ay sobrang namula yung aking face. Namula siya ng bonggang bongga. And um, it took an hour before mag-subside yung redness sa face ko. And <coughs> And welcome back to another video. Yes, I'm back here in my filming room and I'm going to try another product. So, medyo matagal yung last time na nag-try ako ng bagong product. But I'm back and I'm excited to share this with you. Kasi ito yung ginagamit ko recently to exfoliate my skin. Yes, ang pag-uusapan natin for today is about exfoliation. And if you are like me who is above 30 na, ito, this is something that you really need to have in your skincare routine. You need to exfoliate your skin para matulungan yung skin mo na mag-rejuvenate at magpalit ng bagong skin cells. So, what I am currently using is this um, brightening clay by 28th Street. And this is actually a calcium bentonite clay. 100% calcium bentonite clay. At ito yung ginagamit ko pang exfoliate ng aking skin. So right now, I'm gonna show you how I use this product. So I have here the 250 gram pack ng brightening clay ng 28th Street. But before that, let me first read what's written here at the back. Sabi, 28th Street's Brighton is the perfect detoxifying mineral clay facial treatment mask for smooth and glowing skin. Totoo naman, nakaka-smoothen talaga siya. Tapos, dito yung directions niya. Uh, mix 1 to 2 teaspoon of Brighton with 1 to 2 teaspoon of raw apple cider vinegar and or water in a small um, non-metallic bowl until it forms paste consistency. So, meron siya dito instruction na apply in the face um, using gentle circular motion to gently exfoliate the surface of your skin to remove dead skin cells and also detoxify your um, pores. Leave on for 15 to 20 minutes or until the mask starts to dry and Hearted. So, yun lang naman yung nakalagay dito. Um, I have here a bowl, ordinary plastic bowl. Tapos, meron akong spoon. Disposable spoon. Ayan. I don't have any fancy mixing tools na pang mask. Yan lang yung ginagamit ko. Okay na. So, ganito yung itsura niya sa loob. Medyo grayish. Um, light grayish na powder. Oops! Ayan, nahulog. Ayan. So, ang gagawin lang natin is, kukuha ako ng isang scoop na to. Mga ganyan. And then, ilalagay ko siya dito sa bowl. So, importante na huwag kayong gagamit ng anything na metal. Because, itong um, bentonite clay would react to um, metal surfaces. So, make sure na yung ginagamit nyo is plastic. And then, meron akong water dito. Um, konti lang naman. Isa. Mga isa lang muna. Ayan. Ako, personally, mas gusto ko na medyo light yung consistency. ko pa tayo ng isa pa. So, ayan. Um, medyo... Ayan siya. Medyo light yung consistency. Hindi masyadong heavy yung ginaga, um, ginagawa ko na paste. Kasi gusto ko mabilis siyang matuyo sa face. And mamaya explain ko sa inyo bakit. And ang ginagamit ko rin is um, just plain water. Um, hindi na ako gumagamit ng apple cider vinegar. Um, although, nung first time ko na na-try ito, ginamitan ko ng apple cider vinegar. Ayan, mamaya ikikwento ko sa inyo kung anong nangyari at kung bakit 
hindi na apple cider vinegar yung ginagamit ko. Okay, so, na-mix ko na siya. Um, medyo malabnaw ang consistency nito. Ayan, hindi siya ganun ka pasty. Ayan, which is something that I prefer. Ganyan, ayan. Medyo liquidy ng konti. Medyo nag-flow pa siya ng konti. Ayan. Ganito yung consistency na gusto ko. Um, rather than yung talagang um, pasty. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is let's pull our hair back para walang sagabal. And then malinis naman na yung face ko. Nakapag wash na ako kanina. So I have a clean face. Nothing on my face. And then ang gagawin natin is Ayan. So, using the back of the spoon, ganito yung ginagawa, um, ganito yung ginagawa ko since wala naman akong um, yung pang apply sa na ma, sa mask. Ayan. So, ito lang, okay na. So, isi-spread ko lang yan. But I also use my fingers kasi. Ayan. So, this is just to help me spread the product. Ayan. And then, I do some circular motion. Kasi, mafe-feel mo na merong maliliit na uh, very, very fine na sand. Parang ganun yung texture niya. Ayan. Tapos, give it natin. Para sa akin, pag ganito yung consistency, this is already enough for my whole face. Okay na sa akin yung isang scoop. Hindi ko kailangan ng masyadong malapot. Um, this can already cover my whole face. So, ito habang in ina-apply mo siya and you're doing circular motions. Um, it already helps to exfoliate your skin. Kasi nararub yung parang micro beads ang dating ng texture ng clay. Kasi para siyang pinong-pinong sand. Ayan, so nilalagay ko lang lahat. Okay, so I'm trying to avoid this area around my eyes. Kasi, ayoko malagyan yung manipis na skin sa ilalim ng mata. So, maglagay kayo ng um, sapat na space dito. Huwag niyong isagad sa mata. Sinasaid ko na lang kung ano man yung nandito sa bowl. So, as you can see, it already covered my whole face. So, dahil na-cover niya na yung face ko, magta-timer na ako ng 15 minutes. And then, I will be back. Ayan. So, ito na lahat yung clay sa aking face. And, halos wala nang natira. Halos nasaid ko na siya. Ayan, so sobrang tipid nito gamitin kasi isang um, spoon, isang teaspoon lang, tapos uh, mix it with water um, to the consistency that you want. Kung gusto nyo mas thick or gusto nyo uh, medyo malabnaw kagaya nung um, pagtimpla ko, bahala kayo. O, uh, depende yan sa inyo. Um, so yan. Naubos ko na yung tinimpla ko kanina. So, habang hinihintay ko na mag-set ito at mag-harden, ikikwento ko sa inyo kung bakit this is how I use this product. So, first off, bakit nga ba water lang ang ginagamit ko at hindi apple cider vinegar? Actually, nung una ko itong ginamit, apple cider vinegar talaga yung ginamit ko. And, um, so I follow the instructions. Um... I think ang ginamit ko nun is 2 teaspoons. So, dalawang scoop nito. 
And then, apple cider vinegar. Medyo thick yung consistency na um, nagawa ko sa kanya. Kasi medyo maraming clay. Um, and then, in-apply ko siya sa face ko. So, um, 15 minutes, I left it on my face for 15 minutes. And habang nasa face ko siya, masyadong nagsisting yung apple cider vinegar sa face ko. So, nung una, akala ko it's just normal. Um, tiis ganda, tiis tiis. Hindi ko kasi alam kung anong magiging effect niya sa skin. So, I just follow the instructions. I left it on. Medyo nagsting siya sa skin ko. And then, after ko, i-rinse off. After 15 minutes, I rinsed it off. Ang nangyari ay sobrang namula yung aking face. Perhaps nagkaroon siya ng reaction doon sa mixture ng apple cider vinegar at saka ito. Medyo matapang yung apple cider vinegar uh, para sa skin ko. So, namula siya ng bonggang-bongga. And, um, it took an hour before mag-subside yung redness sa face ko. And I can feel na mahap, medyo may stinging sa face at saka... Um, Mainit. Mainit yung mukha ko after kong mag off. So, mainit siya. Tapos, sobrang namumula talaga siya. So, I figured that um, medyo sensitive yung skin ko sa apple cider vinegar and this one. So, the next um, time na nag-apply ako, um, instead of apple cider vinegar, ang ginawa ko... Um, same amount, pero water lang. So, again, medyo thick yung consistency. Um, and then, uh, in-apply ko siya sa face ko the same way I did the first time. I found that medyo makapal siya. Medyo matagal bago mag-set. Matagal bago mag-harden um, yung clay sa face pag medyo makapal yung consistency. And so, it took me about siguro around um, a little more a little more than 15 minutes kasi parang hinintay ko pang mag-set ng bahagya and then nung nirerins of ko syempre mas marami yung clay na nailagay so medyo mas um matagal irins of yung um clay so what happened was um uh, dito sa area na to ng face Okay naman siya. Kasi ito yung una kong na-rinse off. Tapos, itong area na to sa may forehead ko, medyo natagalan ako sa pag-rinse off nito. Um, and syempre, pag nirinse off mo siya ng water, um, uh, tawag dito, pinapalambot niya ulit yung nanigas na clay sa face. And then, I was doing the circular motions to help exfoliate my skin. So, ang nangyari, um, naiwan tong area na to. So, last na area uh, ko na na-rinse off itong, itong part na to. So, ang nangyari, the rest of my face was okay and then this part namumula siya. So, I figured na uh, dapat mas less yung, mas, mas um, thin yung consistency para mag-set siya. And then, water nga yung gagamitin ko para hindi mag-react sa skin ko. And so, I came up with this um, solution na perfect naman para sa skin ko. Hindi ako namumula, hindi siya nagsisting. Okay siya. And I have to make sure na exactly 15 minutes hindi ako lalampas, hindi ako mag-over. Otherwise, mamumula pa rin yung skin ko. So, I have my timer on. I have my phone here with me to let me know kung ilang minuto pa ang natitira before I rinse off. Ayan. So, yun lang. Um, I guess, case-to-case -case basis yun. If you are someone na hindi naman uh, sensitive sa apple cider vinegar, I think... Um, you can use this with apple cider vinegar. Um, yun lang yung sa akin, shinare ko lang sa inyo. In case na you are like me, na medyo sensitive sa apple cider vinegar, and maging ganun yung reaction sa face nyo. Kasi baka kabahan kayo, tapos sabihin nyo, ah, hindi siya maganda. Um, what I did is, I just had to tweak a little bit, um, tweak the solution or the mixture a little bit to fit my skin. And I found out na, yun nga, um, pag manipis yung consistency and 
um, I leave it on at exactly 15 minutes and rinse it off after that right away. Okay naman siya. It doesn't sting or it doesn't make my face red or it doesn't give me any reaction whatsoever. Ayan. So, malapit na. Nag-harden na siya. Nararamdaman ko na na medyo matigas. Medyo nagsimula na talaga siyang tumigas. So, titigil na ako sa magsasalita. I'll be back kapag nakaset na siya. And, yeah, I'll see you later. Ayan. So, ito na yung itsura niya. Hindi na ako makapagsalita ng maayos. It's, it has been 15 minutes. And, it's dry na. Ayan. Itong mga area na nagkaroon na ng discoloration, yun yung talagang matigas na matigas na talaga siya. Pero itong mga area na to, dry naman na siya. So, I'm just gonna rinse this off and I will be back. Ayan. So, tapos na ako mag-wash and mag-rinse off. Inabasa na yung shirt ko. Sorry. Ayan. So, right now, si parang na-refresh yung aking um, balat. And pag hinahawakan ko siya, ang smooth and ang plump kasi natanggal na yung mga dead skin cells. So, ito yung perfect time para mag-moisturize kasi nawala na yung layer ng dead skin cells sa ibabaw. So, renewed skin na yun na sa ilalim. So, mas ma-absorb niya yung mga moisturizers and mga um, facial mist if ever na ilalagay mo sa face. So, let me just spray my face habang fresh pa siya, habang may moist pa. So, I'm using this um, facial mist. Ayan. So, para mas absorb na absorb niya yung um, moisturizer and facial mist sa skin. Anyway, I really highly recommend that you give this um, Brighten by 28th Street a try. This bentonite clay ng 28th Street. Kung ikaw ay 30 and above and nagsisimula ng mag-show yung um, signs of aging, this is the time that your skin um, slows down pagdating sa pag-regenerate ng bagong skin cells. So, it's really important for you to exfoliate your skin at least once a week to help renew your skin. So, this product can really help um, sa pag-exfoliate ng inyong skin. So, I hope you give this product a try. I'm really enjoying this product. Um, I love how um, sobrang tipid lang niyang gamitin. Kasi ang dami nito, this is 250 grams. Ang dami niya. And sa isang gamitan, um, isang uh, teaspoon lang ang kailangan mo. Lalo na if you're doing it like how I do it, na medyo manipis lang yung consistency. Um, matagal niyong magagamit itong Brighten Clay na to. So, this Brighten Healing Clay Mask by 28th Street is just 160 pesos. So, murang-mura siya. At ang tagal-tagal niyong magagamit yung isang tub na ganito. Um, you can get this at their Instagram. Dalagay ko yung Instagram nila dito. Um, you can go check out their page sa Instagram and order. Pwede kayong mag-order doon sa Instagram. If your skin needs energizing, a little boost, if it needs detoxification, lalo na kung nakatira ka sa isang lugar na very polluted like Manila, I highly recommend that you give this a try to detoxify your skin. Nakaka tulong siya na matanggal yung mga excess dirt at saka yung mga deep seated dirt sa yung mga pores and it also um gets rid of excess oil on your face so it's really very good for the skin. This is good for all skin types so you don't have to worry about that and it doesn't dry out your skin. Um actually it it gives or it leaves your skin feeling smooth and plump and young. After one usage, I could assure you na mararamdaman mo talaga yung difference. You would feel na ang smooth ng skin mo after um, after lang ng isang gamit because it helps exfoliate your dead skin cells. So, underneath 
after mo magwash and after mo magrinse off, it leaves off that youthful um, skin underneath. Wala na ako ibang masabi. I really like this product and I highly recommend that you give this a try. If you like this video, please give this a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. You may also follow me on my other social media accounts. I'm Myra Paneda on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye!